Here's the reality of the situation. The Dallas Cowboys were limited in terms of their cap space. I think other than the Philadelphia Eagles, I don't think anybody's had less cap room than the Dallas Cowboys. Losing Hitchens, I think, is going to be a big loss. You're going to need to shore up your linebacker spot. You can't rely on Sean Lee because he's an injury waiting to happen. You look at the Dallas Cowboys being quiet. One would surmise uh, that that's a, that's a good thing because we know how they, steal, they, they prioritize stealing headlines. As a matter of fact, one could argue they prioritize that more than winning. But the reality is by v- – doing very little, Will Kane. what they're essentially saying to you is that last season was a fluke, that Des Bryant, that Cole Beasley, and the rest of the crew, they can more than get it done. It was just a, a fluke last year because Ezekiel Elliott had the six-game suspension, blah, blah, blah. I love that attitude. I'm glad the Dallas Cowboys have taken that attitude because I see another losing season on the horizon. doesn't bother me at all to witness what I'm witnessing from them. It's, 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 it sort of just falls in line with what I think about them. When they need to make moves, they don't. When they don't need to make moves, they do. When they need to avoid the headlines, they're in them. When they could use some headlines, they don't get them. Everything is backwards with this franchise, and this This is just the latest example as far as I'm concerned, and I love it. This is nonsense. What are you guys? You guys guys to wake up on Friday morning after Thanksgiving and line up outside of Walmart? What do you? Well, we have we have history on our side. You don't. I'm sorry. Not Walmart, Stephen A. You're outside the Louis Vuitton store because you like to buy things full price. They don't do sales. Oh, that's right. I'm, let me get my analogy straight, Molly. They don't do sales. They want to find where you can go to pay the highest price when everybody hey, is in line. Hey, Will. Damn it, I want to pay hey, Will. retail. Will. This, 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 this from, this from Will came, Max. This from Will came, Max, who goes to a salon instead of a barbershop. You're talking? Really? I, well, no, I, Will I, does I look know. very handsome. I, don't know I like you to know do a haircut. My, I don't very, know what you know about trendy. my personal grooming. Right. You don't know where I, I go. That. I just saying go to salon, not a barbershop, please. <laughs> and Molly, back I, to the I substance. don't comment on the looks of men like that. But go ahead. <laughs> but, you the just, Cowboys, but you did. Are the Cowboys, you did. Are the Cowboys so ready, Will? Are the Cowboys listen, listen, on, so man. ready that all they need is the draft and, and they're good? Listen, they don't need to sign listen, anyone? This is the point of my analogy. You guys line up to spend full boat the first two days of free agency, and you celebrate the teams like the Browns who signed ten guys. You got Here's, pathetic. Let me tell you, that's I'm not this celebrating the Browns. We're two days into this thing, okay? The Dallas Cowboys aren't done. There are reports that they're interested in Dominican Sue. I hope they don't go pay full boat for Dominican Sue. I hope they shop in the discount aisle. By the way, there's also reports out there, according to Mike Fisher, a Cowboys beat writer for 20 years, that they're interested in Earl Thomas. And this is a real thing, a trade between the Seattle Seahawks and the Dallas Cowboys. The Seahawks reportedly want a first-round pick. No thank you on the first round pick. Yes, thank you on Earl Thomas. The point is shop, but shop smart. You guys are out here getting mad at them because they're not running out there signing Dion on the first day. I understand now. I understand now. It's like um, it's like uh, you ever trade baseball cards as a kid, and you run into the kid who like, well, you know, I'll trade you, I'll trade you this like common, what they call them, commons for those four rookie cards. Like you're only gonna do a deal, Earl Thomas, for a sixth round pick. Otherwise, no, thank you. That guy, yeah, we need a corner, but I'm not gonna pay full boat on that. Would like, you you're give, going? Would you, give, to... would you give a first round pick for Earl Thomas right now? No. You're going, but what are we doing here? But you're going to you have to negotiate, of course. You're going to have to bring some to get some here, Will. Like the Cowboys aren't going to be able to just they are not a bargain shopping purchase or two away from a Super Bowl. They need to address their defense. Are they going to do it all through the draft? They're going to have to get creative with trades. They're probably going to have to sign some guys, and they don't have a lot of money to do it. We're two days in this. And by the way, I just you guys set it up as a catch-22. Lean back. Do your thing because you got it as a catch-22. If they go out and spend, you get to say, here they are, (laughs) headline-seeking. If they don't spend, you say they're not doing enough. And you point to Anthony Hitchens, Stephen A. Anthony Hitchens is a nice player. I've rooted Anthony Hitchens for years. But $9 million a year, $30 million guaranteed, price matters. Maybe not when you're in the Stephen A. Smith category of, you know, commentary and analysis and reporting. But for most people out there, price matters. Well, what I would say to you is this. When we look at the Dallas Cowboys, we have a right to look at their history and say, these are their habits. These are their Achilles heel. You want to sit up here and treat every year like it's new. And you want to ignore bad habits that have served this, that, that have not served this franchise well. And that's all we're talking about here. We're not talking about the typical team. We're talking about the Cowboys, who are an accident waiting to happen, who find a way to get in their own way. And we dissect why that is. And some of the evidence that is point that, that you point to that Max points to or anybody else. We have points. You just refuse to accept the 
obvious <laughs> because you're emotionally tied to this franchise. Yeah. I and have it's okay. had more substance it's in the okay. last 10 minutes than you have had on your Dallas Cowboys commentary in the past five years. In the Excuse last me? 10 minutes, I didn't I hear that comment. you more about the Dallas Cowboys than you have been managed you, you, you to you ascertain. You've taught me. The t yeah. You've taught me. Oh, yeah. Really? Get, get, okay. get your notepad out. This so if you know so much can, about the Dallas Cowboys, okay. how are they going to get back to the Super Bowl? I'm not getting the rap. So let me just ask a quick question. You're so emotional. I'm so emotional. I'm going with the facts. If the Cowboys had signed Sammy Watkins, would you guys be celebrating them today? No. No. Oh, my God. I don't know what so Sammy Watkins has So how do they win with left. you guys? They don't. Uh, that's, 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 that's the whole point, Will. They never like win. They, ne they, ne they never win. They don't never win with me. Don't you have a three-hour show to do? Yeah. All right. All right. We'll All right. Yeah, I got Go more ahead and do teach. it. Go ahead and sing Brian's about the Cowboys. Good luck. We'll see you on the Will Kane show. I like the haircut. Talk to you soon.